you know, I have perfect pitch, so I can tell, but if you play something that's an F, that's supposed to be F. E, uh, but E is really, uh, you hear it vibrating? Hi, I'm John Baptiste, and I'm a guest correspondent for Wired. And today, I'll be testing and reviewing music tech. First gadget. Woo! I love this. This looked like the 1950s. I love the vibe of it. It has this built-in speaker system looking thing. Stylophone retro pocket synth. Each segment on the surface plays a different note, the same as different keys on a piano. Ha ha. You can switch between three sound modes and make the sound wobble with the vibrato switch. Ooh, fire! Amazon customer gave it five stars. Inside of a cheap microcontroller, there was an actual circuit board with a chain of resistors and a 555 timer. This was an unexpected surprise and gives the instrument a much better feeling of authenticity. But I'm a little bit suspicious of that because it says Amazon customer. It's not a, a, it's not a name. I think that might be an audience plant, as we say in the business. And this is a bad review from S. Anderson. Cheap garbage. 90% of the time when I turn it on, it just makes some low frequency croaks and creaks and then goes silent. That's actually kind of dope. Let's see what we got. Oh! Hear that sound? <laughs> I've used this on an album. This fire. That's supposed to be F. E, uh, but E is really. Uh, you hear it vibrating? It's like microtones off from what's actually E A440, the frequency of A4. I know he just alienated most of the viewers, but <laughs> that's my review of this thing. I love odd stuff like this that's small that you can fit in your pocket. I give it five stars. I, I love it, but you know, it's a little out of pitch. Next gadget, please. Ooh! First impressions actually, oh wow, hear that? That's nice. It's kind of like Twister for fingers and cell phone addiction. Sphero Spec Drums, also known as finger drums. Sphero Spec Drums are app-enabled music rings that make the world your instrument by turning colors into sounds. Turning colors into sounds, that's soulful. These are reviews for the Spec Drums finger drums. They work by recognizing color, so they will work on just about anything, which really makes for fun. Five-star review. Oh, there's another review here but it's a bad review. It has an issue with the Bluetooth pairing, and as there's no way to reset the code or enter a code, it's pretty much useless. See Ballard. Well, let's see how it works for me. That's killer. You don't have to hit me that hard. It's like the difference between making something from scratch or you buy ingredients of varying degrees of preparation. How you put it together, ultimately, there's an artistry in that. So I give it, you know, five stars for what it is. Yeah, where the next gadget at? Let's get it. Oh! I love this. This killing. If it ain't fun, I don't want none. Ha! Ah. 
Play 22 keyboard, also known as the floor piano, also known as the iconic instrumentation from the movie Big. <laughs> Gigantic electronic keyboard play mat, super strong vinyl mat, comes with eight musical instruments, piano, saxophone, violin, clarinet, trumpet, banjo, xylophone, guitar. Five star review, absolutely perfect. My two year old granddaughter loves it. It's large enough for her to run across and very durable. One star review, garbage bag, plastic construction, and garbage sound. It got that kid thing. Ha <laughs> ha, that kid vibe. Wait a minute. That, these are not the right pitches. Okay, so it's a half step off. Man, this is very ineffective. This probably cost $50. $37. Okay, okay. I would say the pitch not being right on, very far off, in fact, the half step off, but then the, the record and playback function gives it some points, so I give it three stars, somewhere in there. Oh my goodness, to the soles of my feet I am blessed. This looks like a tone manipulation device for acoustic guitar. Tone wood amp. Similar to the way the strings excite the top of the guitar to produce sound, tone wood amp excites the back of the instrument, producing sound waves of effects such as reverb, echo, delay, tremolo, and more. So let's see. Pastor Jerry Roan on Amazon, five star review. Within 10 minutes, it sounds great, and the folks I play for love the added effects to my acoustic guitar. Now I'm gonna add the chorus effect. Can't wait. Pastor Jerry Rohn. Ooh, come on, Pastor. Oh. Sometimes I open my mind and I dream. Dream. Tremolo. This is really great with no amp and everything like that. Delay. Woo! <laughs> it, it makes me feel like I'm in the wilderness. Okay, so for me, as a performer who has busked before and, and played on the different forms of public transit. <laughs> Find this to be a great device. It gives you a added production value at a very minimal real estate. Very small, compact device here. I think it opens the imagination. It's a great advancement in technology. Five stars. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I know about this, I know I really do that. It has a plastic base, I like the color, it feels retro, 70s energy. Just something that you might have seen or heard at a Doors concert. Andy's recorder keyboard, also known as melodica. This unique instrument looks like a keyboard, but sounds like a recorder. A five star review. Always been intrigued by this quirky keyboard. Portable and breath powered. It's unique and great for busking. And now we got a three star review. The quality deteriorates as you approach the higher register. So he's probably saying that the, the, the quality of the higher register is not. Okay, I can hear what he's saying with that. <laughs> Woo. 
My normal melodica has a lot more of a sturdy tone. It holds the air with much more authority. And this, as soon as the air hits the reed, you're almost done with the resonance of the pitch. Whereas on my melodica, I could blow and I can buzz or I can kind of um, press the air slowly and I can even bend the notes. Here, you really have only a few options with the pitch because of how the air stream is constructed. I love how it's just inconsistent. It's like a very mom and pop do-it-yourself kind of instrument. It's like, I built this at home in my wood shop. The top part don't really work that well. In the bottom, you gotta kind of like blow a little harder to get the sound. And in the middle, you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But the charm of that is what I like about it, actually. Five stars. Hey, Tech! Techalopolis! I like some of them. I liked all of them for what they are. Be who you are. Be you. See you next time. <laughs>